My name is Elias Mwara. I'm an artist living and working in Nairobi, Kenya. I always loved drawing as a kid. I loved making pictures and this carried on through my teenage years. At high school, I wanted to explore further the world of art and be an artist, which I did not fully know what it meant at the time. But I'm glad I made the decision. Initially, painting for me was great because it offered me freedom to learn, kind of on the job. I could manipulate the medium, I could make mistakes and correct on the job, especially as a new artist who was learning how to work. With the medium, it offered me a lot of flexibility and freedom. Over time, I've come to appreciate the process of painting itself, especially the point from the inception of an idea to the completion of a painting. I like that through the process you can see bits of decisions that I made, especially I can see the points where the paintings changed and I can see the marks that were left behind significant that moment. It's almost like a type stamp for creation of the painting. I also like the questions that arise when I'm painting because then I have to think about when is the painting finished? Is it finished? What do I need to do to finish it? Which means the painting is still a very challenging medium to work with and I love that it offers me the space to grow and think about those things and also learn new things as I keep painting. I did not learn formally, I did not go to school to study painting. I've picked up things from my fellow artists, especially here in Nairobi and also a lot of it from the internet, watching YouTube and reading books. Yeah, and practice, basically. I'm, however, hoping that I can join a program in the next few years to train as, a, as an artist. The paintings are inspired most of the time by whatever is happening around me, in my immediate environment, in the world. I'm an news junkie, and something I've been thinking about recently are the newsmakers. Uh, since last year, after the protest in Algeria and the following protests in Sudan, I've been very interested by the people who have been making news because of the changes that everyday people are able to make. And I've been thinking about everyday people as news makers, the people you see every day going about their life, their chores, coming together, the act of people coming together and deciding to do something about something they're not feeling great about or something that is not going right in their countries is a really inspiring subject to think about when I'm making paintings. The art community in Kenya is concentrated in Nairobi, mostly. It's a small community, but it's also a very tight-knit community. We visit each other, we support each other's events and ideas, and most importantly, we meet to talk and make art collectively inspire each other's practice. We have great spaces that are run by artists. We have artist collectives and we have artists being very central in the activities that happen in the country. And yeah, our industry is great in that way. Nairobi is an interesting place to create art because it's so connected. Like there's constantly things that are, whatever is happening in the world can be mirrored, whatever is happening in the country. And there's a lot of material to work from. I also like the art community and the creative space that that provides. I like that I can go around in, to other artist studios and can have a chat about the current affair, affairs and their practice and I can always look at their work and be inspired to make. It's a very creative space and it allows for me to have a creative environment to work from. Nairobi is great to work from for that reason. Currently, my ambitions on art, as an artist are obviously to make more art and to explore more ways of making art, hopefully to uh, expand my practice, the way I approach the making of the work and thinking of the work. But most importantly, I want to think about how art and art making relates to my community and how it benefits my community. I've been thinking about uh, archive and the role of archive in community, especially when it relates to art and related cultural productions. We have been discussing with groups of fellow artists to make and collect books and 
start a small community library, which I'm hoping might be the genesis for a bigger program or something more interested, interesting to to work around to work with the community. That's that's something I'm looking forward to.